Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another reaction video with another new property actually, Girls Frontline. I've actually watched most of the anime adaptation of this one, but I ended up stopping a little bit early because the quality was starting to drop off and I didn't know it was a gacha thing and I learned that later in and I'm like, oh, so it, it started to like make more sense to me the fact that it wasn't making sense to me because I realized you kind of needed some context to fully appreciate what was happening. So I just kind of stepped back and dropped the series. But I'm interested in the music because I did see some heavy quality and love going into those first few episodes especially. So I've got to figure their music and their OST is solid, right? So with more comments saying I should give this series a shot, I figured what better way than to just jump right into it. So here we are, uh, picked one at random from the list of things that people were posting, and this one is Scarlet. Let's go! Ooh. Beautiful start. really like this uh, pattern, this melody on the piano here. Ooh. Ooh. Really spacious, echoey ride symbol there. The symbol. I like those little effects going in, the kind of static that's bouncing between the headphones. And again, beautiful progression. There's that symbol again. I can definitely tell that this isn't like an actual orchestra. <laughs> I mean, clearly. You can hear the samples being shifted between. Good bass note there. Mm. Is it ride cymbal again? <laughs> this composer really likes playing with that ride cymbal. <laughs> I like this like plucky synth going on too. It kind of ties it in, makes it feel a little bit sci-fi. Bring more percussion in. Hmm. Hollow snare, kind of a an empty sound to that snare, like a clap. It's not a standard snare sample. It's a really nice, original, fresh kind of feeling. Fits very well in the, the broad soundscape of this song too. Ooh, the genre change. We're gonna get a little breakbeat here too. Mm. Maybe. Won't know until the drop hits. All right. This is an interesting song going between like two very separate genres. <laughs> and like completely too, there's like, yeah, it's like, it's, there's not too much, I was wondering if it was gonna do it there. Not too much crossover. They kind of, it's like two completely so different songs stitched together. But it's kind of neat because they're following the same, like, 
general structure. They definitely don't sound like two completely separate songs. It sounds like two different ways to write the same song. They're kind of bringing it back here with the strings. Now they're blending it a little bit there. Yeah. Got to tie that bow off nice and deep. All right. I assume it's gonna do some sort of a loop from there. All right, so that was kind of neat for numerous interesting ways. Uh, I didn't expect that entire shift during that. I don't know if it was like half in or like the latter third there where it just completely shifted to that like more electronic breakbeat kind of thing going on. I liked the way that it did that though because you could tell, like I said, it was the same song, but it, it treated it as a completely different song. It was almost like somebody did a complete remix, like a redux of the first song that was being played. And that was a really neat thing to hear because that's not too common in the other uh, Gacha games that I've done reactions for. I haven't heard that, or at least it's not coming to mind where that exact thing has been done, where it feels like it's the same song done by two different people stitched together. That's a very unique way of doing that, and I don't mind it at all. <laughs> of course, I'm going to mention that snare again. That snare was very cool. It was very well fit to the sound of the entire song song that it was just kind of slid right in there. When I started to kind of like subconsciously expect the inclusion of a snare, that's not the sample that I had in mind that was going to be included. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more standardized, but they went with this very kind of hollow clap snare. It was really, really crispy, but it was so far in the distance that it was like I could hear it but it wasn't being intrusive to my ear or the rest of the music around it. So that was very well done. Of course, I got to mention that little piano motif there at the beginning. I love the way that sounded. It was very bright. It almost felt a little bit like the music that is in Makoto Shinkai films in the background. And it's just like, oh, that's such a, a light, frivolous feeling. It's a, such a good emotion to pull. And then it just kind of built into this very emotional orchestral. And that, that was a very solid, smooth transition. And then, of course, that split down there where they did that, like, electronic transition, which I just still was not expecting, and I'm still not expecting it, even though I've been talking about it. Of course, I mentioned a few times that ride symbol in there, and that inclusion of that sample was really neat to me. That, of course, being because as a drummer, when I hear something that is used a lot, you can tell that the composer just likes that texture. And as a drummer, I love that texture, too. I am a cymbal fiend. I can't help it. I love my cymbals. So when I hear something be used a lot like this, it feels really nice, and it makes me feel welcome in the mix. And I'm only going to bring this up as a like mention that, of course, compared to the other games that I've heard, this one's production value is not bad at all. Overall production quality is very solid. I believe, yeah, Ghost Final, the composer for this, well done. All in all, I'm not a composer, so this is not a critique. I want to make sure that that's clear. I could tell that the samples of the orchestral instruments in there at times weren't quite as well-tuned and well-fit, whereas some other games and other composers do that a little bit better. Of course, I'm spoiled by games like Arknights and Genshin Impact, where they have composers multiple at times that are leaders in the industry standard of orchestral composition and they really do focus on these things and a lot of them are multi-talented in multiple genres just like yourself ghost it's just one of those things that i noticed and i was like maybe it's worth mentioning not because i think i could do better this is the first song i've even heard of ghost finals work so I, I don't want it to feel like I'm critiquing something that I literally have one piece, one sample of. I don't know Ghost's work, and I'll probably end up hearing more of it later down the line, but all in all, I felt it was worth mentioning. So with that said, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of Girls Frontline OST stuff, leave your recommendations in the comment section so I can get to them. And if you want to support me, you know how to do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye! <laughs>